Excel ignited day six. What are some of the things that you see in Excel formulas and what do they mean? This is what makes formulas work. So really, you got to get this and I'm going to talk more through it than give examples because it is more conceptual and you will see plenty of examples as we go through the rest of this month. Let's start by looking at a big formula that's got a lot of stuff going on in it. We won't dissect this piece by piece, but I just wanted you to see a big formula and some of the things that can go into it. Like this single quote, this exclamation point, the dollar signs, the greater than sign. Here's a less than sign. Then you have the greater than with the equal sign. Ampersand. Commas. Lots of things in here. And then you see that this is just an A with a dollar sign, whereas then this is a B32 with a dollar sign. What's going on with some of this stuff? Well, first of all, let me mention to you that when you see B32, that means column B, row 32, the cell that is the intersection of those two places. So B32 would be down here. Let's go down to row 32. This would be cell B32. But when you see just E, that means that whole column. See, the colon represents a range, but then if you have the same thing on either side, you know, E colon E, that means just the column E. All right, let's dig into these one at a time. First up, the equal sign. Equal lets Excel know that we are starting a formula and we're getting ready to do some work. Equal also can be a test do two things equal each other. If you see equals A1 equals B1, that's asking, does A1 equal B1? Plus, simple addition, minus, for subtraction, the asterisk for multiplication, forward slash for division, the caret symbol for raising numbers to a power, exponents, greater than, a test to see if one value is greater than another. Less than, is one value less than the other? Less than or equal to, yeah, is one value less than or equal to the other? not equal to, greater than or equal to. Commas separate the components in a function's syntax. With sum, you can have equals sum, open parentheses, two comma nine comma one, then Excel knows to give you a 12 back. VLOOKUP, it's got four components all separated by a comma. When we have a single quote and an exclamation point, those signify for us that we are making a reference to another worksheet. Looking back at this formula, this 2008 in single quotes with the exclamation point, that means we're making a reference to the sheet named 2008. This word with double quotes around it means that we want to look for this as text. If I wanted to know if a cell had the value owl in it, I can't just type owl in a function. I have to put that word in double quotes. Otherwise, Excel thinks that I'm trying to use a function named owl and there is no function named owl. Double quotes. Up top, we have a double quotes with nothing in between. That is a check for nothing 
or with telling Excel to put nothing in a cell. And on the bottom here, we have the double quotes with the space, because a lot of times we do have to look for spaces. The colon represents a range. You might see A1 colon B7. And that means look at the range A1 through B7, that whole range, everything there. The dollar sign, that's absolute and relative cell references. And I urge you, if you haven't looked at my video on absolute and relative cell references, please do. Because this is a concept that, you know, if you don't get it, a lot of spreadsheets get ruined. Data is wrong. Or you wind up retyping a lot of stuff that you don't need to retype. Knowing absolute and relative self references will keep you out of the lake of fire. Seriously. The curly brackets, they represent either an array formula or someone's using the choose function. We'll get into that a little bit later. And finally, the square brackets. Those represent either a reference to another workbook, an entirely different Excel file, or they represent table nomenclature. And we will see this a lot later as uh, table references. All right, so that's pretty much what you would see in an Excel formula. All right, so I will see you tomorrow and we will do some more work in Excel Ignited.